Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to calculate quantitatively the induced surface charge and uh, that results from uh, our uh, image problem. Okay, uh, that was our problem, it was uh, this. And uh, we said that there are going to be some negative induced charges, those minus charges, and we want to calculate them quantitatively. Okay, um, so uh, let's just get started. We know that the electric field just above the conductor is equal to sigma over epsilon naught n hat and in our condition uh, we had the plate like this so the component uh, the perpendicular component unit vector is going to be in in hat uh, and in hat is, uh, is k hat okay and we know that the electric field is uh, minus of the gradient of the potential um, also we know that uh, just above the the, uh, the conductor only perpendicular components of the electric field exist. So we don't have EX or EY, just EZ exists. Uh, so uh, our uh, our gradient is going to be equal to minus partial V over partial Z, K hat. Okay, so we can uh, just say that uh, uh, partial V over partial uh, Z, partial V over partial uh, Z, which is E, okay, is equal to E which is sigma over epsilon naught. So sigma over epsilon naught is equal to partial V over partial Z with a negative sign. And we can know that uh, sigma, which uh, which is the charge density, uh, is equal to minus epsilon naught partial V over partial Z at Z equals no, at Z equals zero. We want to calculate the charge density uh, when, uh, when Z is equal to zero at the conducting plate, okay? By uh, by just differentiating, we can get that sigma is equal to this expression, and this expression we can get uh, some insight from it. Okay, we can know that it's uh, it's a negative. So yeah, uh, our induced charges are going to be negative as we assumed, and of course the maximum of this uh, of this uh, charge density happens at x equals y equals zero, because when x x here and y are equal to zero. Uh, then we get a higher sigma. Okay, we can also calculate the um, the charge, which is Q, by integrating this quantity, and by uh, by integrating uh, this quantity here, uh, the result is minus Q as we anticipated. So just by putting some charge here, which is plus Q. Uh, sorry, yep, by putting some charge here, which is plus Q, um, above a plane, conducting plane at the potential V equals zero, um, uh, a negative negative charge, negative induced charge uh, with, a, with a quantity of uh, that equals to are going to be on the surface. So the induced charge is equal to minus. Okay. And that's it for today. See you next time.